Hello. Today I want to show you a great example of abundance in nature. So we have a grapevine. I'm sat with the grapevine behind me here. The root of it there. It goes right overhead. I'll show you it all. And we planted this grapevine about seven years ago now. We bought it when we first came to France. I think we'd maybe been here a year. We really loved the idea of having grapes growing outside. It's not something we'd ever had in England. Um, particularly Tom, he liked that idea. So we bought two little grapevines and for ages we had them just stood in pots, little sort of smallish pots, outside our camper van, one at each side. They were a bit neglected, I have to say, in that first uh, couple of years. And then eventually we got to the point where we had somewhere to plant it. So we planted it just outside the house here and then it has just grown and grown. And it is now producing so many grapes. And this year it's a particularly good harvest and the grapes are actually sort of ready at the right time and they, and they taste good as well. So they're sweet green grapes. They do have little seeds in, but they're great. So what I'm going to do today is actually cut well harvest the grapes I guess that's what I'm doing and I thought I'd just show you that so you just get the idea of from this little thing nature's just so abundant there's so much and there's so many examples of it but I think this grapevine is just one example that I have that I thought I'd share with you. Our grapevine is planted here here's the root of it I'm going to just take you around and show you how one little grapevine has grown in the space of seven years. Okay, so then it branches out, obviously. Part of it goes this way, so we'll follow that, or as best we can. And it's going right over, it's making a most lovely roof, if you like. And the big branch goes all the way down there, and down towards the ground again. And then another part of it is actually spreading out across here. Let's go back. And then from the other side of it, this is the main branch really, it goes up here, divides a bit, gets a bit tangled, and then again comes right across towards the house. When it reaches the house it divides in two, and one side goes right along this way. And we'll be able to see some of the grapes as well. I don't know what it is, grapes don't always show up very well on videos. There we are, you can probably hear the hornets and the bees, and well, hornets and wasps actually. And the bit comes down here, and there's a nice clear bunch of grapes there, so you can see that. And then that bit goes along the top there, it's working along to meet the other bit that I just showed you a minute ago. Okay. And then the other side above the door splits, and go under here, and it goes all the way around the side of the house. So prolific. Bits of it come off all the time. I trim bits off it. Tom doesn't trim bits off it because he likes it too much. He doesn't like restricting it in any way. So now I'm around the corner of the house, down to the front, and over our other door that we have here. It continues all the way along and over the window. And there are more grapes hanging down there. So I'm going to cut these bunches off. But all that is from one little grapevine. And just to give you some idea of scale, there's our house. All that green you can see is the grapevine. And there, you can maybe just make out the solar panel. We've managed to keep it off the panel a bit, otherwise we haven't, we're reducing our power. And it covers that little bit there, which is our plans for a future little conservatory or something like that. So yeah, that's one plant. So now I've got my, got my secateurs and I'm going to cut some of the grapes off and we'll see how many we get. Okay. So I've been cutting for 10 minutes at the most. Look at this, just look at them all. It's incredible. And there's some amazing bunches. I mean, some of them just fantastic. So a lot of little ones, but like this is quite good, I think. Yeah, just 
loads of grapes. Now we're going to think what to do with them because there's more than we can eat. I've only cut probably a third of the grapes that are actually on this vine and we've already been eating quite a lot and we've been giving them away to other people. And uh, this is just one example of nature but there's so many other examples when you think that you start with something really small and it just goes on to produce so much. It's a bit like the you know, an apple tree or the, um, it's back to the acorn thing and how much you get from that one acorn is really incredible. So what I'm going to do with these, I think, is I'm going to just get the juice out of them. So I've got a juicing thing, an old fashioned thing our elderly neighbours gave us once. And I'm going to use that just to get the juice out. And then the skins and everything will just be composted. I'll give a bit to the hens because the hens really like grapes too. So I'll give a little bit to them. So I'll show you what the juice is like that we get out of it as well. Mm, this is the old fashioned sort of contraption that my neighbour gave me. But she used to use it to make all sorts of things. So you just put the grapes inside there. Turn the handle. It sort of squashes them down with this blade. And then you get the juice coming through. You might just be able to see some juice dripping through there. And there's a little bit. I've only just started so there's, there's barely anything in there. But I just thought I'd show you that. Then this has got these little clippy bits that fold up and down there. And they just clip onto whatever size of bowl you're using to drain it into. So it's old fashioned but it works. Well it's taken me a little while to do that and I haven't done them all. I've done it for about nearly an hour of going round with that thing to squash the grapes. I definitely think it's one of those jobs that would be better done with a few friends, a few of you around the table and you're all just doing it. I've, I've done it for a while and I've got, this is the juice. I have to say it doesn't look very nice. I don't know why it's this cold. I suppose it, this is what it's like. I just imagined it would be clear. I have had a taste already and it tastes great. I strained it as well. So I just um, turned the thing, all the skins, the, the juice came through, all the skins I've um, put in the compost heap, a few to the hens, and then this is what I'm left with. So cheers. It's really sweet, obviously, as you'd expect. They're very sweet grapes. It's nice. It's very nice. I think it's just, it just doesn't look very nice, but I suppose like when you get really pure apple juice, it's a bit like that. It's cloudy. I, I just expected it to be clear. I don't know why. I'm sure it's full of goodness as well. It'll be really good for you. Mm. Cheers. See you next time. Bye.